Woo. Hello everybody, Hootastic here, and I have a game for it. This game is called Incoherence. Let's do it to it. Is she dead? Is she dead? <gasps> but me! I need to get dressed. For shame, y'all looking at a buck rat like that. Now we wait for the call. What is this? Keys. Nice big TV. Flat screen. <laughs> My therapist has not called yet. All right, cool. While we're waiting, this painting calm it down. Oh! Yes, Dr. Calkins. Is that it? Dr. Calkins is in the room 16. Okay, let's go this way then. 14, 4, 15, 5, all right. Good Lord, you are a tall one. Thanks a lot for visiting me in a hotel. I understand this might, this might not be your usual practice, but I really need to talk. I am glad you decided to do this again, considering your position and tragic circumstances. I was more than willing to help. Can you tell me, once again, why you decide to move from your apartment and pay a great deal of money for this hotel? After what happened to my sister, I was unable to stay there. Every night, I had the same nightmare about her, and it was a torture for me. I was lucky enough to get some money from my employer, at least for now, I do not have to worry about paying the rent and I can enjoy a hotel pizza. Kate, this is not healthy. You have to face the issues right up front. You cannot live in this hotel forever. You talk about the nightmares. Can you describe them to me? They are very real at times, but usually when I wake up, the nightmare does not end. I had this deep feeling more like a voice telling me to do something. What does the voice tell you to do exactly, Kate? Is it, it is very important to use, uh, say it out loud to ensure that it is not real. The voice tells me to kill someone. To kill? Who? Was the voice specifically a person, a name? Is it somehow connected to your sister's suicide, Kate? I need to know. I need you to focus on this. I don't know. It just tells me to kill. I see my sister and she's so real, but there is something off about her, something sinister in her voice. Okay, does your sister tell you to kill someone? Do you see her? Do you see your sister in this room right now? I sure enough goddamn did. Um, Kate, Kate, Kate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My head hurts. The medication's not helping at all. and I don't know what to do. I fucking don't know how to get her out of my head. Kate, I need you to stay alert at all times. I will prescribe something for the headache. We will meet again in three days. All right? If there's an emergency, please call me. All right, all right. I will try to do this. I will try to do the medication technique you told me about. Meditation. Thanks again for the talk. It means more to me than you can imagine. Looking forward. To the next visit. I should go to my room. I don't remember her room door. How 
Hi, sir. Oh, uh, ma'am. Ma'am. Yo. I think I just seen the monster down the hallway. And I didn't even. Oh, man. Uh, dear Miss Anderson, we hope the letter finds you well, and I want to extend our application appreciation for choosing Velvet Vista Hotel for your reasons say. Unfortunately, it has come to our attention that there are some issues require immediate attention. We have received multiple complaints from other guests and our staff regarding a loud banging noise and unpleasant odor originating from your room. To ensure the comfort and tranquility of all our guests, we kindly request that you please adhere to the hotel's noise policy policy and be mindful of your noise level if there's a specific issue or concern that requires your attention please don't hesitate to contact our front desk we appreciate your understanding and cooperation is matter we look forward to the remainder of your stay at our hotel whatever i should put the clothes in the closet yeah whatever 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 them Ugh. let's lay down Who's knocking? Can't they leave me alone? Who is knocking? Excuse me. Hello. What the fuck? I should close that. What the hell opened? Well, <laughs> Hurry up, F, damn it, F. What the hell? What, what? Oh, she's having a nightmare. She's in a nightmare. And you can't drink no soda. And you can't eat no pills. But you can read a damn note. All right. Why the fuck did I even come here? This hospital's rotten. I wish my sister was here, but as usual, she has too many fucking problems to deal with. Unlike me, a drug addict who is trying to break free from all this. Oh, you are on some shit. At least you're trying to break it. You know what I mean? It's very important that you try and have some support system to help you with your issues. Because sometimes people be like, they won't fuck with you. Try it again. Ooh, all right, this is why. Every day is the same loop. I go to this hospital, get some medication. Uh, try to be better. Try to be, uh, try to be a better self. Yeah, but what is the point? My sister doesn't give a shit anyway. I might die tomorrow. She won't even remember. How would you know that? Maybe your thought process is different from hers. Y'all thinking different shit. So where's the note? This up oh, when I hear this. My medical history is pretty short. Nothing of value in broken things, but maybe my sister's interested maybe if she can pick up some uh the phone at least once she cares all i can do is hope for the best bullshit phrase well there's two all right let me search the rest of them It's a shame that some people feel weird or angry or some issue about a family member or a friend not contacting you as much as you should when you need it, but things happen. Uh, this so-and-so old patient presents for alcohol cannabis withdrawal. 
weed and alcohol? Are you serious? I can see the alcohol. Contained with this patient. Uh, chief complaint. I want rehab. I've been using general history administration. Patient as a single year old AA woman. Oh, okay. For well, bipolar disorder, alcohol, and cannabis abuse. Other blank dependence was admitted. Uh, sense of depression, uh, depression, including CAH, a voice telling her to hurt herself. She has an outpatient program and wants to change her life this time. Oh, okay. Now, when you have certain issues like that, man, this is like, you really need help. But you definitely need, like, an outside person to help you. And here we go. Hello? Oh, the battery died. Now what? I'm going to read this real quick. You just hang right there. Do you feel it now? Do you feel guilty? You're selfish bitch. You abandoned me when I needed you. You made, you made a promise. You said you were always going to be with me. Go back. Go back. And end this. Yeah, you just you stay right there, okay? Okay, I should check on my sister first. Oh no, she killed herself. Wow, that's crazy. Well, there you have it, folks. Wow. So her sister. OD in the bathroom. She came in to check on her sister. That was had the issues and killed herself out of guilt or something. Wow. Either way, glad you made it. Cause I'm glad I played it. Well, that being said, I'm fantastic. This is incoherence and I am gone.